believe what happened. I heard something. I was sitting one day doing my own thing when all of a sudden I heard Abram. I looked around. And I tried to figure out where did it come from? But guess what? My room was empty. No. Nobody else was there. And so I said, who's there? And nobody was there. And then I heard it again. Avram. And I looked around. And I said, who's there? And you want to know who it was? Who do you think it was? It was Hashem. And Hashem said to me, Lech Lecha. It's time for you to go. And so I stood up. And I said, Hashem, where am I going to go? Will you guys come with me on my walk to where I'm going to go? Why don't you start walking with me? And so I said, Hashem, come with me, guys. Come on, where we're should we're I go? Going. We're all going to go together. <laughs> and Hashem said to me, don't you worry about that. I will show you. And so Hashem said, we're going to take you and your wife. And you know, she is so wonderful. She is so kind. And me and my wife and the rest of the people who live with me, we all are going to walk together. And we all left the town of Ur to go travel far, far away. Are you guys ready to go far, far away? I hope you'll come with me. Because we have a long hike to go on. But I don't even know where we're going. Because Hashem did not tell me where we're going to go. And Hashem says, don't you worry, Adam. I'm going to show you where to go. And I started to think to myself, why do you think Hashem chose me? And I started to think, and I scratched my head, and I said, well, let me think about this. What could possibly be special about me? What are some things about me that are good? And you know what's one thing I love to do? I have one favorite activity. Of all of the activities I do, I have one favorite thing to do. Does anybody know what that is? Look at his hand, yes. Let me stop. My favorite to do in the whole, whole world. Yes, gentleman with the shirt for a face. What do you think it is? We're going to go this way. What do you think it is? Let me call on somebody else. Who can think of a mitzvah that's one of the greatest mitzvahs in the world that Hashem chose me for? What do you think it is? To Davin? Wow. You know, Davin is pretty special. It's a pretty wonderful thing to do. But it wasn't davening. Dolly, what do you think it is? I can't hear you, Dolly. What mitzvah? Helping people. Well, it's a kind of helping people. You're right. Hashem did like that I'm a helper, but it's a special kind of helper. There's a special, special mitzvah. Oh, let's stop right here on our hike. Hachnasatz orchim. Can you say it with me? Hachnasatz are you guys ready for the hard part of the hike? Let's climb this mountain here. Keep climbing up the mountain, guys. I bet you never knew that your school had a mountain. And now, awesome! Let's keep following where Hashem tells us to go. Let's climb this mountain. And so, Hashem brought me to the land of Canaan. And he said to me, come climb up the mountain and look out. Guys, take a look. We looked out all over the land. And what do you think? Is it beautiful? Yeah. It's pretty beautiful. And Hashem said to me, guess what? You are going to get to live here. Your children are going to get to live here. Everybody in your family is going to get to live here. So, wow. Look at this amazing, amazing place. It is so stunning. Let's keep walking a little bit more. Keep on walking this way. And we are going to go and have a seat right over here. Everybody come and sit on a rock. Sit on a rock. Face the inside. And everybody please turn around and face this way. Awesome. There's plenty of rocks for him. Anybody at all who was somebody who needed a place to go, I invited them into my house. Here, and, and what I did over. was, you guys see up and here in this, in this branches here? Come over. You see all the beautiful trees? Yeah. A little while ago, they all have leaves on them, right? I like to have everybody come sit in the shade 
and I would give them something to drink, and I would give them something to eat, and I would let them have a nice, relaxing time. Because is it nice to welcome in guests? That's a wonderful thing to do. Where are you going to sleep? I would sleep in my tent. Is this like a nice place to sleep? What do you think? Now that I'm in Eretz Yisrael, it's probably a good idea. I have to make myself a tent to live in. And I made myself a tent, and my wife Sarai moved in with me, and everybody moved in with me. And we learned that the best thing we could do in Israel was to welcome in guests. Does anybody here ever welcome guests to their house? Raise your hand if you've ever had a guest over. Who has ever had a guest over before? It's a little hard to have guests over right now, right? I will tell you that when the Morot invited me to come, where I come from, thousands of years ago, they didn't have any plastic things like this before. What? I would sleep on the ground. It was so comfortable. <laughs> and what happened was, I made sure that all of my guests always had a place to come. And it's not always, <coughs> excuse me, so easy to make sure that everybody has a place to go. But I invited them in. And you want to know what I gave them? Should I give them my nice food or my not nice food? Nice food. Should I give them just some regular water, or should I give them some juice? Which one's nicer? Water. Probably juice. I mean, juice is really fancy. Anything that I can do to make my guests feel welcome, I always would invite them in to come and to play with me, and to feel comfortable with me, and to give them whatever they needed. This is the week, my friends of pre that we always remind ourselves that hachnasat orchim, taking care of people and making them feel welcome is the most important thing to do. And Avraham always reminds us, if you see somebody who's sad, should you help them? Of course you should help people who feel sad. If you see somebody who's left out of a game, what should you do? Help them, invite them to come play with you. Always inviting people to come with you is the nicest thing you can do. If there's somebody who ever doesn't have a snack, do the morrow make sure you guys have your snacks? Of course they do, because they want to make sure that you have the things that you need. Whenever you see a person who doesn't have what they need, always make sure to help them. And so Hashem brought us to this land. And Hashem promised us that because we're the people who are always going to take care of each other, we are going to get to stay here. Guess how long? Guess how long? How long? 27. 27 years? More than 27 years. How long? 30! 30! It's a crazy amount. You ready? Forever. I want everybody to look right up over there. Everybody take a look up over there. What do you